this is Star Trek Elite Force, uh, the first game uh, by Ravensoft, in from I think the yep. year two thousand. So it's still technically a nineties game. Two thousand one. I want to say it's two. I want to say it's two thousand. Um, you know what? I can solve this. I have my disc copy right here, and it'll say, it'll say right here on the manual. Let me see here. Two thousand. You're right. Oh, well, why'd you make me waste my time here anyway? Let me just get rid of this. Because I had to type! <laughs> um, I, like I just said, have a CD copy of this game, and I quite enjoyed this a lot as a kid. No, no mods. No mods. Get that out of there. Get, 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 get your cursor off that. Stop. Stop that. But, um... But you can also hover over the yeah, down here and there's a bunch. This. There's a bunch of neat little things that you could click on on this main menu and just learn stuff about S Star Trek. Yep. Some of these things you are now intimately I familiar actually with. Under I actually I know, yeah. Although it's mostly down here. Well, you know, Klingons, Robulans. Like, it's interesting to see that this is all of this, like, as big as the Romulan Klingon empires and the Federation are. It's just this tiny... Galaxy's a big place. Tiny spot right here. So, I don't know much about Voyager, actually, as even aside from this game, but they're <laughs> uh, over... They get flung into space, and they're over here, and they want to come back get here. get sent to the Galactic Rim. Pretty much, yep. yeah. And it's going to take them, like, 70 years or something to, to come back. Uh, I think it was, like, 88 years or something. Hmm. Eh. But more importantly, uh, they're <laughs> in the Delta Quadrant. Yep, and you know who else is in the Delta Quadrant? That's mm. right, baby. It's okay, though, because... Oh, God, Voyager nerfed the shit out of the Borg so fucking hard. Really? It's, it's kind of annoying. So, uh... Depending on your stance, I guess. For Trek. Uh, uh, I, I saw it's Voyager a lot with my dad. Back ah, in the yes. Day, and it was airing. Right, 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 right. I'm just going to do and normal. And see the final, though. And uh, we're going to be Alexander, because that's canon or something? Plain. Yeah, it is. The USS Voyager was transported beyond yes, that is Kate Mulgrew. That is actually the actress. The galaxy to the yes. They got the main there, actors for this. Nice. We began our 70-year journey home. In our numerous encounters, 70. we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Yes, elite. Captain Monroe is second in command of this <clears throat> elite force. You said it. Team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti-Borg weapon. The Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed, and the iMod is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. God damn it, Monroe. Well, he didn't get captured. All you had to do was shoot the Borg. Right? Not let your team get captured. I can't get over how squinty he is! <laughs> also, listen how quiet that voice is suddenly! We have isolated your team members life signs. I... I'm going to assume that's a side effect of not being able to do the 3D sound. Ah, uh, maybe. There are a couple games like that. This is, Bro. <laughs> this is an interesting start for a Star Trek game, just plopping you right in the middle of a board cube. Yeah, you're fucked. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll tab and Thanks, we can see Tuvok. some stuff, but uh, we start with two weapons. The regular old ceiling fan remote phaser. It has two settings. Yes and more yes. <laughs> and the compression It rifle. does recharge, though. Yes, you have theoretically yeah. infinite phaser ammo. And, yeah, you have your, your shoot gun. So, the Borg don't really give a shit about us right now. That's about to change here in a that, little bit. And now you've made yourself a threat. Yeah, I, I took out a D-node, so they're, 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 can, you know. Can you walk into them at this 
Oh yeah, they, they okay, won't nothing. do anything now okay. because they're deactivated. Um, you could just actually, they all died at one hit of anything, so you could just... I'd... Yeah, there you go. Uh, in the second game, you just walk into them to do that too. Oh, will they die in the second game while they deactivate it? Yeah, you'll just walk into them and they'll fall over. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, whoops. And like, all good ship designers aboard put their high explosives next to the vents. Um, I don't actually really need that, but I'll take it. I mean, you might have used your rifle on them. <laughs> like some kind of dork. Now, for a collective consciousness, the Borg aren't very commutative with what's going on inside their ship. <laughs> right? They don't care about you. You're not doing anything. I Good hurt job. myself a little. I took one point of damage. <laughs> Your health and shields. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yep. Oh yeah, just you know, infiltrating the Borg. Check out this uh, piece from two thousand, the year two thousand here. <laughs> <laughs> Coolest thing ever when I was a kid. I just crushed right, that guy. You crushed that drone. <laughs> okay, he's probably fine. Uh, it wants you to take that elevator, but you could just hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh. and now we have the iMod. This did not exist in the show. The iMod was not a thing in the show. It was never a thing in the show, which is hilarious because, on average, a Borg vessel would take two torpedoes from the Voyager and explode violently. It was, like I said, very confusing on how they oh. treated the Borg and wow. done them down, like, super fucking hard. Uh, huh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, what do I do? Well, you got one. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. I mean, good. Uh oh. Get him, Beastman! Get him! Get him! Oh my god, I gotta do everything around here. They're not even adapted yet, come you on! <laughs> you, you, I mean, you're the only one with an eye mod. Look, which see, is oh, okay, now they're confusing. adapted. But, yeah. You can just switch weapons to an extent. Oh, they got that one. <laughs> uh, you can actually let them both die, and he'll. Uh, Monroe will say something like Voyager 2 to beam up. And they'll beam up. Oops. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could really fuck up in this mission. Oh, and the um, the two settings on the hand phaser actually count separate weapons for their adaption. Oh, do they? Yeah. I'll have to try At that out. At least in the second game. Uh, I don't think it's the case here, actually. Oh. I'll, I'll stop talking about the second game then. <laughs> You can also really, really, really annoy your teammates in this. And that's their basically their reaction whenever you talk to them ever is just annoyance at best. I I get the impression Monroe is um that guy. Oh no! No, nah, I don't care. Poked. Don't care, don't care. Yeah, you're fine. Borg nanites don't do shit in Voyager. <laughs> <laughs> um Right. Oh, yeah, yeah take that! Thing. But don't jump down, that's bad. Oh yeah, that's death. Oh, and I think F5 or 6 is... Uh, oh, rip. F5 okay, is quick, quick save. save. F5 is. Yeah. Uh, let me just see if I get the scene if I... No, I think the Borg has to get me. You Actually, there's a special scene that you get if oh, you yeah. die here. Um, I think I'll show that off been. here. Because there's some Borg right here. Okay. It might yeah, take a minute. A board. It might take a few moments, but you know. Yeah, you know how long it took in Best of Both Worlds. <laughs> oh, wait, that took seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! So, remember this little scene, this little hypothetical, if you don't mind. Oh, yes, hypothetical. Definitely didn't happen. Your new name is now 8 of 12. Uh, there's actually a couple of Game Over quotes you can get here. 
Um, one of them is actually something like, uh, now you and Seven have something in common. <laughs> the very first time when we had anything in common with another person. <laughs> Thankfully, Borg do not know. You know how Metroid can't crawl? Well, Borg. neither can Borg. Borgs cannot crouch, so you just. It's all those those cybernetics. They're incredibly strong, but they can't bend over anymore. They have such stiff legs. The lower back. You know how, like, when you grow older, your lower back fuses a little. Well, <laughs> Borgs are just entirely fused. Uh, they're welded. So yeah. Small. Yeah, I'm I got two settings strong and stronger. Oh yeah. I have uh run always run off because running run it this is run. It's actually kinda of fast, as you would hope. Yeah, do baby. Button. Oh yeah, this is absolutely a quake era shooter. I've I've already gotten a little yeah. lost here actually. Uh here we go through here. This game's uh default control scheme is a little weird. Uh they had it has yeah, jump two thousands. Yeah, it has jump bound to forward slash for some reason. Um crouch was oh. Z, I think. And both fire modes were control for primary fire and alt for secondary. Hmm. I think the second game has Crouch Brown to see at least. Yeah. Default. <laughs> but you know, it's almost correct. Almost. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. They're everywhere. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, there's a note. All right, well, that worked out. Stop oh, no, saying the thing! Do? Can't adapt That's to the only thing they know how to say anymore. <laughs> Can't adapt to explosions, I guess. I guess if it kept exploding, they would eventually. Hey, 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 hey! It is only seats one. God, so rude. Dude. Uh, dude. Sir, I was hit. The board took the team through there. Out hit with what? I don't know. I mean, I say that, but uh, the board do all supposed to have like energy weapons. Some of them. Hey, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good shot. Thank you. Uh, you can zoom in with any weapon. Phaser has a really long range, actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a beam. Yep. Not a limited beam of pure plasma. Don't get crushed. Yeah, that's. I think that's happened before. <laughs> Definitely never happened to me on my dozen playthroughs of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 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 oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you didn't need your kneecaps. We're about done with this level anyway, I believe. State my intent. Oh, that is different. I let my guns do the talking. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's going to happen here. Oh, no. Uh <laughs> why, why are you saying that? <laughs> you know what his intent is. He's got a gun. Uh, here we are. Tactical decision. Uh. And they just assimilate them. Uh, you don't. I mean, they're they working on one right now. They can just eject the nanites. 
Although, I, I mean, there's being assimilated and there's being like, I guess, fully droned. Oh, I'm oh, that okay. one resisted. <laughs> you must have had a direct connection to something. If you run out of phaser energy, you can actually keep shooting. Oh it, yeah. It just does very piddly damage. You can also draw little pictures with it. It's really neat. To an extent. So, there's actually two ways to activate, to do the cutscene. Be careful, he says. Monroe, tactical you genius! Shoot it? You can, in fact, just shoot it a few times, and then this part, it just cuts to Chell nice. going, No, don't! <laughs> nice. It's really cool. So anyway, you might have fucked up. So Not we, shoot it. So if we die, you get assimilated. But this was on the holodeck, so... I'm going to assume Tuvok side. well, if he's not going to learn, I'm just going to let him sit there for a minute. Because <laughs> they've probably done this like 500 times by now. This is at least the... F I believe this is... Yeah, Monroe. God, Monroe, you're such a fuck up, Monroe. What's wrong with you, Monroe? <laughs> Where'd it go, bro? Uh, anyway. I, I could, uh, you could look at his personal log, which I, I did when I was off-stream looking at the Virtual Voyager. Um, that is apparently their fourth attempt at the Borg Cube mission. Nice. The first time, uh, their demolitions expert blew himself up, startled Beesman, who then <laughs> started shooting. Chell got startled and then shot him and Telsia. And then Monroe fell off his fell off an elevator and elite force hazard team <laughs> we're still red shirts yeah i mean <laughs> it was actually like crewman and then ensign most of the yeah, crew yeah i'm pretty much actually like yeah they don't have you can ranks. see the the pip you got to look kind of closely when Monroe turns his head but you can see he the pip on his um yeah he did this is his kobayashi maru <laughs> There's the pip on his collar. You can barely see it for yeah. just a second, but he's got the Benson pip. Um, yeah, when he turns his head. We're the only Ensign. Uh-oh, by the way. Oh, no. It's suddenly very loud. <laughs> Great. And now it's quiet. Speak up, Kim. I don't know who any of these people are, except that guy and the captain and that that lady back there. That's two Vok over in the corner. I know that's two Vok, yeah. That's seven. The guy who was the guy who said the warp engine offline is Tom Paris. Okay. He's the pilot. Is he the lizard guy? Yes, he is. <laughs> Sorry. And the first guy who spoke up is Harry Kim. He's the engineer, kind of. Okay. But there's an actual engineer. Right, we might see you later. All right. Uh, we're the only ensign in the hazard team. Uh, everybody else is a crewman, except for Foster, who, the actual. That's because everyone hates Monroe. <laughs> Two torpedoes. Done. Oh. Oh no. Oh what the. So is that really a thing? It just shoots two torpedoes at whatever it wants to destroy, and that's enough? Usually. Is that a th I see. Everyone all right. I mean... What just happened? They do at least make the torpedoes look different, and it's supposed to be, like, decades after TNG. That's Harry Ken. Okay. Where are we? He and Tom get along. I was they gonna... Like each other. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask, uh, when Your does friends. Voyager take place? Uh, in terms of timeline, so it's a little, it's it's a, a decade after TNG. Uh, it's it's a couple of decades after DS9. Okay. Oh, okay. Which is after, which is like immediately after TNG. Gotcha. So this is actually the part where I do admit that I never really 
watched any of the story for this game at all. I always just skipped all the cut. I was in that phase of my gaming life when I was just like, ah, I don't this want is, a story. I just want to play. This is the actual intro to the show. That level bit there. Oh. Yeah. So, TNG starts in 2367. Okay. DS9 is 2370. Okay. And Voyager is 2372. Oh, it's only it's a couple of years. Yeah, it's only a couple of years, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, I was in that point where I was just like, ah, I don't want to watch the story. I just want to play. I just want to play the game, I, man. I'm the opposite. Back then, I would watch everything, and now I'm like, I, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Yes, this is the actual intro of the show. Okay. What is the show? Uh, 2000? Also? Or 1990-something? Uh, late 90s? It was mid-late mid, mid late 90s. Because I remember it end. I mean, I remember it, like, word getting out that it was ending. Um, yeah, they kind of put the... They kind of just kind of... Oh, boy. The, oh, God. The serious analogy of Voyager... Uh, yeah, I remember that good. being something of a sort of big deal, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I wasn't into Star Trek at the time at all. Uh, it, this, uh, it has it has issues. I see. It has a lot of issues. Okay. It's kind of infamous in the Trek long, community. There's no subtitles for this, but fortunately it's super loud. Kind of yeah, thanks, Kate. Whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chikoko. And now she's quiet again. Thank you, subtitles. Yeah, so Voyager initially aired in 95, January 16th. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's fine. Lana is a ship's engineer. Gotcha. We'll see her in a minute. Might guess from her name that she's <laughs> not human. Right. Oh, this doesn't go away until you hit tab, by the way. It really wants you to check your yeah. characters every time there's a new one or an update. Yeah. Even the second game's like that. Do you, you want to guess when the final episode of Voyager aired? Was it 2001? Yes, May oh. 23rd. Oh, neat. So, just over six years. The game wants you... Well, Warp Core Breach is imminent. The game wants you to just book it to engineering, but if you hang around here, they, they say stuff. Plot imminent. Jesus. Yes. And eventually, the bridge crew just kind of yell at you. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, that's interesting. Harry's kind of friends with everyone. Oh, also, and everything if, happens to him. Oh, <laughs> leaning. If you hold, oh, God. so leaning in this game, you have to hold the use button and then push a direction button. Right. Yeah, uh, that's how that works. I never used it. <laughs> it's useless. Excuse me. What? <laughs> what are you doing here? What? And yes, this is all, these are all the original actors. <laughs> all the original actors of Voyager are getting upset at me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Janeway is snorking at you. She must have not had her coffee. Uh, you can actually just wander into the into. I think this is the ready room. Yeah, this is Captain's ready room. Uh, just you know, come. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh she god, oh god, oh god. Um, you can actually also... Here's this, little plaque. Neat. 
And yeah. here's the conference. This is, yeah, this is, yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, Warp Core Breach, uh, we better go take care of that. In progress. Deck 11, engineering. Oh. This well. isn't Deck 11. This isn't where I want to go. This is Deck 9. That's two less than an 11. I can do math. Like, nobody will give you the time of day in this game. They have shit to do! <laughs> They're making the ship not far apart. It's a little more important when you're not, you know, where oh, what you the? want to- Oh, no! Well, if you say so. Wow. <laughs> Let's try that so again. So that's one way that could have gone. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> timing's surprisingly tight on this. Like, you gotta hit it just as he crosses, or otherwise it just won't let you do it. Oh, there we go, got it. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, yeah, we can't go now because that. Whatever this guy did. So we actually failed an objective. <laughs> we cannot complete the right. objective. <laughs> Ow! Jeez. That's fine. That's rude. Alright, well, I can't go that way. Uh, what? what? What panel? This panel? This panel? Oh. Oh, you mean that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or are you going? Uh. Joe, sorry, Monroe. I have to finish this. And this is why no one talks to Monroe. <laughs> What tube? The one that blew up? Well, we can't go that way, so we'll just have to climb the ladder. We'll just have to go up. Yeah, up one deck, I guess. I don't know. And then, well, the floor and collapsed here, so... There we go. Yep, here we are. Easy. <laughs> no task too hard for Ensign Monroe. Ah, here we go. Hey Monroe, looks like the explosion took out these two aft turbulence. Jeffrey's tubes are the only way down now. I was trying to clear the debris from this one when the EPS conduits overloaded. Great. Well, the starboard side should be fine. This one's gonna take me all day to fix now. Almost out of clear, too. Crewman. Appreciate that stack noise in my ear. <laughs> right. Don't touch that. It hurts. Uh, don't go down there. No, there's no ladder there. <laughs> All you want to do is go down to deck 11 and the entire ship falls apart. Right?
Oh, so that's not dangerous at all, having the doors <laughs> Right, auto right, open. they just, you know, you're just standing on the door, and it, what if it just opens before you grab the What if there's the someone ladder? coming up? Oh, no. As you're about to get on the ladder. <laughs> I mean, it's no Death Star with no guard wearings, but... <laughs> Good thing I'm a hazard team member. <laughs> that's right. Still, sure. don't don't touch the water. Instead, we'll go up here to this control panel. Containment failure. It drains it we'll just, somewhere. We'll just put it in Neox's soup. <laughs> Gross. Hey guys, how's the warp core? Oh god. Hmm. But like, yeah, she's, uh, she's Klingon? She's half Klingon. Oh. Like, actually half. Okay. Half human. Interesting. This is just a, a thing we have now. Yeah, that's your inventory, is just, on your belt, you could just, it's, you got a transporter buffer. It just has all they your stuff in it. realize you can store things in transport buffers it's besides people. Okay. Huh. Oh, wait, that's bad. Wait, what am I doing? Ah. Uh, I ju <laughs> just remembered. <laughs> all right, I remember my job. So during this, I just memorized this sequence. <laughs> <laughs> One, seven, three, ver very, Charlie, Victor, Bravo, etc., etc. Eight, 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 seven. Luck. So during this phase, you actually have infinite time, but once you do this, now it has a timer. As I said, thirty seconds. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh no, panic. Panic, panic, panic. Oh no, 20! Uh, 20 ladder. what? <laughs> That's that all you gotta do. That's it. Uh, if you run out of time, it just okay. blows up and you die. It's not nothing, yeah. nothing funny. <laughs> I mean, explosions can be funny. Yeah, but not that one. It's just kind of a regular old explosion. Nominal. Okay, let's get a cleanup crew in here. Seal that leak. We need to get main power back online. Cork, give me a hand with the resonance cascade modulator. Crewman. Sorry, no time to talk. Excuse me. Can I help you? Like the the box makes a big deal about being able to interact with the crew of the Voyager, but they all all of them pretty much just tell you to fuck off. That's interacting. <laughs> it is, isn't it? This is, this is just Monroe, what he does on his off hours. That's why I was like, God, oh, just go away. I need to do my job. Maybe if we ignore him, he'll go away. <laughs> he never goes away. Like, Jesus Christ! Alright, fine. I can apparently t alert. What? All security and hazard team personnel to the loading dock. Excuse oh. Me. Can't you see him Wait, we have to do our job? Oh, shit! Ah, that's not the turbo lift. Whoa, personal space. Whoa, easy, Chang. So he gives you a phaser, 
but there's a rifle right here. Also, hey. Um, yeah, here's the doctor, by the way. Yep. Um, you cannot hurt and the we doctor. Think be out here. <laughs> the emergency medical hologram. Yep. And that thing on his arm is why he can be outside sick bay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, because if you have he's to... a hologram, therefore he needs whole emit emitters. Mm -hmm. As a kid, playing this, this always bothered me because I never watched Voyager, so I had no idea <laughs> why this guy was immortal, and I couldn't shoot you him. You mean intangible? <laughs> yeah. So he's a hologram. Uh, if you have any damage, he will he heals you immediately, pretty much. Because he's a cool guy. Doctor. One of the Good, but actually, he's one of the better characters on Voyager. Uh, Foster is a lieutenant, and you can see the pips on his neck. Yeah. Ready? Ready. All right, let's All right, let's, let's get ready to kill people. Yeah, yeah, I killed the <laughs> hell out of that guy. Um, alt fire on the compression rifle is just a, like a fucking disruptor beam. Yep. Also, here's it this. Will usually disintegrate. Uh, quake engine, so auto switch. They're stealing our stuff! Don't do that! Oh no! That's all kind of familiar to you. Uh. Ah, uh, it's fine. Nah. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh no. This isn't a cover shooter. This is a, this is an arena shooter, so it's fine. This is this is quite yeah, baby. Is a, yeah. I don't know why it keeps auto switching. Oh, oh no! Almost dead. Wow, that explosion hurt. Doctor, help me. There's there's an option in the menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I have it on safe. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh. This is what that means. Come on, guys. He's right there. Come on, guys. <laughs> Lieutenant, do you want, don't you want to grab one of those rifles? No? All right. No time. Okay. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised. Usually, at least one of these two... Uh, crewmen up here die. Oh, I was about to say they actually hit him. Uh, no, usually, one, either one of these gets hit and they fall, and it's a cool set piece, I Very guess. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, you right, know, Voyager, limited crew. Limited crew, yeah. Just having gunfights out in the open. Stop that! Keep stealing all of our stuff. The ultimate, the ultimate expression of this is mine now. He's just walking up to a box and beaming it away. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's fast. Whoop. That guy's got advanced techniques. Oh. Ah, yeah, stop so it, stop the, it. the regular <laughs> phaser fire is almost it's really garbage. not worth using ever. It's a soda pistol and not Halo. It's the starter pistol. Oh. How do you know? Uh. What's that? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the starter pistol. If the starter pistol had either shoot gun or shoot gun harder mode. <laughs> and both, like, used similar amounts of ammo. And regenerated ammo to the point that sh there's no point in using the weaker one. Yeah. Tuvok is on a block diet. You can see the effects. Ah. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. 
like the Tarkana's gravity well. 247 ships have been lost there. Or the, the fuck do they keep going there? <laughs> I recognize two of those species names. However, I think they were in the main ones. Yeah, they're actually from the show. Okay. We have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. <laughs> Beesman is the best character in this. He's he's so good. Group. He's so good. He's got personality. <laughs> yes, and that's why he's the best. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he just had to say it. Minimal encounter probability, huh? <laughs> Minimal for everyone else, except us. Oh, uh, what so, did I f did I fall asleep? Oh, oh, you didn't miss anything. Is the briefing over? Um, <laughs> one of the show's biggest problems was the writing staff never settled on how to fucking write Captain January. Okay, she likes coffee. She is the opposite of Picard, who likes tea. Like one episode, she will be like, "No, the prime director clearly states we cannot do this." And the next episode, she's giving. Half of Voyager's technology way to get some coffee. What the fuck? I was joking about the I'm coffee. Thing. I know she likes coffee, but there's coffee in that nebula. Uh, oh. As as an actual quote. Huh. <laughs> Just so the actress some. decided. No, you can't replicate. That takes energy. Oh. That's why they have right. a quirk. Uh, oh. So. Kate kind of just settled on uh, playing Janeway like she has an un undiagnosed psych psychology disorder. <laughs> oh, I, I see. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to assume this this game was like a breath of fresh air for her. You know, a consistent hand on Janeway. Yeah. Um. You saw in the credits the plot and story was credited to Ravensoft, the developers. So it doesn't seem yeah. like anyone from the show wrote anything on this. I, I'm not. I don't know. Uh, don't we know. can open and close our locker. No, we can only open it. It'll auto close eventually. <laughs> there's nothing in our locker. I mean, there's there's that uniform. Nothing that, useful. Whatever that is, a pouch and a box. Maybe this nothing is where. Is in the box. Maybe this is our quarters. No, wait. We already we saw our quarters <laughs> in virtual forger. You can't order me to just die. Well, I am the captain. Is a quote from. Mm. <laughs> Voyager has problems. I see. It's not. It's not. It's not bad. Uh -huh. But well, it's not Discovery or makes, Picard. You know how I how you go on like oh that's a weird episode. You 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 you'd say that a lot with Voyager. You mean there are a bunch of episodes that, after the credits, I would go, what the hell was that? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. Hey, look, guns. Guns. All right. So I didn't show it off earlier because you just fucking die immediately. 
sniper mode. <laughs> hey. Hey, I only shot you once. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! So, oh. if you shoot or... Oh, <laughs> if you shoot or kill anyone, uh, you get this little scene. And there's a bunch of little scenes in the brig. I had high hopes for you, Monroe. Yeah. There's a ton of people we can come by. Um, there's one I'm particularly fond of, where a random crew member says something to the lines of, we're, we're going to be holding that concert later. Oh, well, I guess we're, we're getting someone else to fill your role. She's you know, not here. as good as you, but at least they haven't committed treason. Hang on. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. Uh, I'm lowering my health so that it doesn't take forever to get the scenes. But let's get a couple. I think we had to be in like, crit health. It's crit yeah. health, yeah. It's critical critical health. Guess that means our hey, there you go. Concert is off. Well, I'll have to get crewman Ferriola to take your place. She's not as experienced, but at least she hasn't committed treason. <laughs> God, I love that. God, what a burn from Kim. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> really? As for why we're still in our combat gear, I guess. They just teleported know. us to it. They just beam you in once you're subdued. Why don't they just beam you in? You still have your combat. It's all like I don't know. being rogue. <laughs> this is the Your behavior as of late has seemed <laughs> erratic. I have requested that the captain allow me to counsel you. Now, tell me about your mother. Every time, <gasps> Monroe just kind of looks down like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I don't want to talk about my mom. <laughs> I've brought you a oh god. Hi Neelix. Oh man. I don't want pus sauce. I want ketchup. Uh, there's one in particular I'm kind of hoping to get. Uh, we'll do a okay. couple more before I just, like, stall too lot too much. <laughs> we made this an episode staple. Wow. I've never seen a break before. Tomorrow's a nice time. Oh well, anyway. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chell. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh... Like, God, he's quick on the draw, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, no one likes Monroe. <laughs> like I said. Oh, okay. Right. No! Get out of really here, Neelix! <laughs> Give me my gun back! <laughs> like, he's just standing there. He's like, he's ah, pointing I'm gonna get you! You didn't even hit him, I don't think. <laughs> Close enough! They're just looking for an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. That one's actually kind of heavy. I like that one. Yeah. Um, alright. Watch your fire, he says, as he pulls out a fucking gun and blasts me. <laughs> Watch this fire. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Beesman likes me now. I got. Oh. Okay. Uh, I didn't get the one I was hoping for. Actually, you know what? One more. Next time. Oh, fine. Yeah, just, just this, seriously, last one. Uh, unless Ain't it's any time. Unless it's a repeat. Cause there's a lot. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a repeat. That means just one last one. What are you doing? I can quit whenever I want. Nice going, huh, ah. Okay, it just doesn't want me to get the one I want, so we'll just move on. Of course not, it's being watched. I said behind me, not on me! But uh, yeah, you can come into the holodeck and... Oh, this will go well. Yeah, you get restored to full health. Um, and it's, oh, just, no. it's just some arena fights.
As you can see, it's going very well, yeah. Uh, so, scavenger rifle is fine. Uh, yeah, it's like the submachine gun. Basically. Go do in a pinch. Um, it shoots grenades that are very weak. Yep. Don't it's really just have weak a... in general. Yeah, it doesn't really have a good blast radius on those on those submachine. I mean, on those grenades. Uh, health back. God, Wait, the fucking this... high f output phaser is stronger than it is. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I, actually, I like the way it looks, but it's just not very strong. Oh, come on! Yeah. Uh, right, where, where's yeah, that last guy? There kind of is. Excellent. You're full of holes, but excellent. Holographic holes? No, actually, you are full of holes. You had the safeties off. <laughs> you need to go find a doctor now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No whammy, no whammy. Hey, Ensign. Look, I know I thought Janeway was a bit harsh when I first came on this ship, but she's a good and fair captain. You're just going to have to learn to toe the line. Wow, I never thought I'd have to tell a Starfleet officer that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. about that doctor <laughs> uh we'll be fine okay huh? what what rick what rick rick where are you <laughs> rick are you in my head again i'm always in your head monroe huh Also, yeah, you can get in their way, and they just tell you, get the fuck out of the way, idiot! Oh, he was over here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your problem, Monroe? <laughs> God! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Monroe, I'm busy here. This is a cool little detail. I like this. Is that... <laughs> he loves his gun! <laughs> it's, uh, they, they go to their, to the weapons room and get their stuff before they go to the transporter. They don't just, like... They're not just there, you know? Yeah. Game has a lot of good attention to details. And, of course, all the, uh, areas are accurate to the show. Whoa! Oh, no. I don't know if this guy's on the show. He wasn't really like a transporter chief. Energized. Like O'Brien. <laughs> Looks like a bug. Yep, we're here now. That's all you get. Okay, this is. Yep. <laughs> you know where you are. I guess you never heard of Tin Man. <laughs> Give me a minute to start the download. Joe, you need something here. Humid. I kind of like it. You would. You're a bully. I wonder what those are. They look like fireflies. Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started a download. Joe found one here too. He's accessing it now. Good thing our technology can paddle with this organic technology. Uh -oh. oh no! One percent. That good? I'm gonna say no. Not not nope. good. Nope, nope, nope. 
So the regular phaser is, is, is strong, but it's it's actually really good against these guys, especially. Too bad I'm out of phaser bullets. Yeah. <laughs> bullets. You, you know yeah, because I mean. the, the center of mass is the only place you can hit them. The wings don't count. Yeah. So if you shoot these things here, they can't actually transport any more of them. But there's a catch. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. That's cheating. Yes, sir. They just stopped attacking a moment ago. The same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminals. Let's get out of here. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We I guess we live here now. There's a junction point in section 29. I see it. Dibs on the top. Bunk? <laughs> All right, lead the way, science man. I tried to call it tell me there's a door up ahead. Chell? Chell? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, you tell me. <laughs> wow, he's been practicing, I guess he's been watching Michael Jackson. <laughs> or, yeah. Oh, what the? No! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sheesh! Don't scare me like that. What are those things? Hmm. They seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter technology. Transporters? Good enough for me. Oh! <laughs> oh you well, see you, boys. It. All right. <laughs> Wait, you can float, but you can't fly. <laughs> Guess not. Oh. Oh no. No fireflies in here, so we want to destroy these transporters. I don't. <laughs> I don't think I ever bothered doing that. <laughs> well, that attack lasts much longer if you don't do that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. It's a neat little touch. I, I like that. It's a fun gimmick. Oh, what the Oh, no. Ah. Uh. Oh, I think I just winged Chell. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That's why no one likes Monroe. Oh, hell Can't no. Aim. Hell no. <laughs> uh-uh. Mm, the fireflies oh, say hell it. yes. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Cut through it. So, this is actually a ladder. Yeah, this took me a, a few minutes. I first think time I did this. It did me as well. Oh, gross! It's open. I'm sure they'd say the same thing about your sword ship. No! Oh! I use oh. metal. Ew! Ah, it's so cold to the touch. And it's so dry in here. <laughs> How do you stand it? Oh, for the lo- Oh, no. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so 
So, yeah, friendly fire is indeed on, and you can accidentally kill one of your teammates. Uh, they take a lot of damage before that happens, though. Thankfully. Ah! 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 Huh. Oh, that's cheating! Shoot everything! Yeah, those are like mines. I think one of them bumped into a. Uh, Jurat? Uh, her name's. That's Telsia. Telsia. Uh, Jurat's uh, not on our team. Uh, she's with Foster, I think. The reason I remember her name is like. One of the, line, one of the ways when we're looking to yes. greet her is. Jurat! 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 <laughs> and that confused me too, because they never really interact. No. <laughs> Jurat! Yeah, we'll see her in a little Jurat. while. <laughs> I saw something. Where are they? Jill, are you sure this is the yeah, right place? Yep, me too. <laughs> Maybe the aliens. Gonna have to wait. Ah! Why is Rick just a crewman? <laughs> he he never put up for the rank. Oh yeah. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Good luck, Monroe. We'll meet you at the power core. Actually, I don't think Jarrod's on this mission. No, that's Chang. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> That is a great laugh. <laughs> he loves what he does, and that <laughs> what he does is messing with Shell. Shell, what? what? What's going on? <laughs> He's a little jumpy now, understandably. Uh, anyway, here's the stasis weapon. That's yeah, okay. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's a pretty good weapon. I uh, uses yeah. the same power source or ammo ammo as the uh, scavenger rifle, uh, and is just much better. Yeah. It's um, kind of like a shotgun, I guess. Yep, alt fire shoots the spread, which is also really good. Oh yeah. Uh, it definitely uses more ammo per shot. Yeah, it than chews the, through ammo. Yeah, but it's just it's much better. What do you think these things are? Tag yeah, gross. Uh, Aside from gross. Hmm. Mm. Undulation machines. You can't you can't deundulate them. Wow. Yeah, they they won't break. What? Whoa. Well, okay, if you say so. <laughs> oh man, I want to be point. Ah. Oh. Get him, Chell! Get him, Chell! Getting him. He's getting him. <laughs> look at the, look at that technique. <laughs> can't tell what he's gonna shoot. Keeps him guessing. Oh, he can't. He, he's hey, hey, watch it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he doesn't want to be next to him. <laughs> Oops. I'm sure that's fine. Your teammates do try. God bless them, they try. Yeah. I, I'll say that much. Um, this area is a little confusing. I think I need to go left first. If because if you go right, it's just a dead end, and tells you it's like, look, there's a control panel up there. We can't get it. How do you wonder how we get up there? By walking. Looks like another of those transporters over there. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh no! Oh dear. Well, grip. Oh, what happened? She just disappeared. Some kind of energy field from that pod. 
Maybe we should tell the other team about this? Uh, you, don't, don't worry. We will. Trap disarmed. Ah! I know. Jeez. <laughs> Chell, watch it. Chell. Chell, please. You better not die and give me a mission failed, because that can happen. <laughs> I believe in Chell. Like, yeah, this is the dead-end room. That transport is just inactive, so... Huh? Wait, now let's walk all the way up... Chell? Huh? Chell? Huh? Well. Oh, he... Yeah, we had the idea. <laughs> <laughs> just walk down. I thought I'd take some initiatives, sir. He definitely did not trip and fall. Okay, well, technician. Technician. I want you to touch it first, sir. Mm. To, you know, make make sure it's it's ready, not, not not safe or anything. So there are four buttons here. Ooh. That's a little bit of a leap, but sure, we can go with that. Foreshadowing. Planet. I wonder if that's their home. <laughs> you want to come a little closer, Cheller? Is that the Starship Graveyard? Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, here we are. Um, the Voyager's not here. It's just this is just a representation of of the thing they're in. Yeah. Yeah. No, Chell, you can't. That's just a wall. <laughs> I, I am 99% sure that he is supposed to be at one of these control panels. I, I, something's bugging out there. I don't know. Something, something. Windows 10. Eh. <laughs> ah! I know. Yep, just hose him down. <laughs> just in case. Uh-huh. Oh, this is suspicious. Whoa! I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me. <laughs> nope. Fucking fireflies. Yeah, no getting out of it. You you gotta just fight them all off here. But, fortunately, we have a really good weapon now. Good for you, Chell. Keep doing that. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Can you solve the riddle? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that was loud. Wow. Nice. The fireflies, right? Okay, good. By the way... Oh, no! <laughs> no, <laughs> no time, time for, for that. No time for funny.
console shut down the computer core. I'll work on getting this access to it. Hard at work. Hey. Or hard reworking. What's this do? Oh, uh, is that good? Maybe. Monroe to Foster. We've shut down the main computer core. Good. You what? Shut down the backup power systems. We're on our way to the main power core. No way, I wanted you to do that. Yeah. Oh no! Not Beesman! I think it's going pretty well. <laughs> pretty much everyone on the team is dead. Yeah. Not bad for an army of red shirts. <laughs> you know, two survivors. Looks like no one's home. Yeah. For a change. That's Six. two more than usual. No. Yeah. Well. Oh jeez! Oh no! No time for that. Chell? Oops. <laughs> I think I shot that transporter. <laughs> Great. Chell. <laughs> Well, we live here now, is oh, what hell. I would say. Hell no. This is actually really clever, I like this. And you just, uh, you got these fireflies over. Use it to your advantage. They veer off and fix that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, you think I'm gonna do it? You think, ah, uh, I gotcha. Hey, buddy, what's... Oh, Chell! Oh, Chell! What the hell, man? I was gonna do a sneak attack. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! What? Ah, I've got him. Get him. <laughs> Okay, where is the... They know we're here now. They've known we're here, Chell. Oh, shit. Jeez. That's just one of the generic lines they can say. Uh, pretty much Not everyone either. can say that. This console will probably open that force field up there. Uh, hmm. The only way it's going to stay open is if one of us keeps it open from here. I guess that means... All right, get going, Chell. Don't Chell. <laughs> oh. Just 
just be a couple Oh, for the minutes. love of... <laughs> Very polite enemy aliens here. All right, single well, file, everyone. Honest, actually, to us, we're the aliens. I mean, to them, we're the aliens, you know? Uh-huh. We just jumped onto their ship and started downloading all their stuff. Hey, I've hit my bandless cap. You stop <laughs> that. We're going through their search history, obviously. They don't want that. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Ah, here we go. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, you jerks! <laughs> and now it's open. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, oh! Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, Lieutenant Foster's alive. He's holding off a dozen aliens. It's okay. What happened to your team? I thought you were all killed. Those alien beings overwhelmed us, but I managed to get away. Now we've got to move on if we're going to salvage this mission at all. I guess we traded up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Lieutenant Foster is a... Oh. Hi, Chell. Yeah, there's a guy Icky. in this one. Wait a minute. Hmm. Rick, hmm. he's alive! <gasps> huh? That's who you who? look for? <laughs> oh, can't zoom in, because... The fog renders it. <laughs> then we can beam them all out of here. And maybe the doctor can do something for them if it's not too late. Come on. <sighs> I don't like anything about this room. Seems fine to me. All right, well, good luck, Lieutenant. I take it back. Ah! They just repair them. <laughs> All right, I, we win. Base. <laughs> but we beamed aboard. We trapped ourselves on your ship. We communicate by lunging at you and screaming. And firing energy at your face. <laughs> so in the five, like five minutes that they had us, some of us captured, they managed to learn our language and stuff. It is down in the brain to know organic computer, you know. Yeah, big sense. Control. It's Star Trek. <laughs> so it was just a big old misunderstanding. Whoops. Oh well. A few million people dead. Just kidding. Yeah, so 
the enemies here take a lot less damage than anything else in the game. And this is a cool little explanation they why. Have that. It's because they because uh, they took a little damage and warped away because you hurt them. Yeah, that's what that effect is. Yeah. What about Chill? Oh yeah, Chill. Uh, uh. <laughs> and there's one behind him. I took some hits too. Go. Oh. <laughs> God. So what? Cutscene music. That's the cutscene. Like I always skipped all the cutscenes, but I guess I didn't miss much in any of them. Uh, some of them are just like, and Voyager's still here. <laughs> look at you and then join me in Hazard Ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Yes, sir. Get healed by the doctor. There are no medical deferments. Oh, that's embarrassing. What? Doctor. <laughs> doctor. Ah, oh, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Monroe. Tomographic scans indicate a possible neck injury. Cranium yeah, if I'm laughing at Chell too much. You're lucky you didn't get a concussion. Man, they sure I think that's Beeson. Over there. It is. He's so long, he has to sit in an angle. <laughs> Do not have his boots touch the console. Sadly, you cannot annoy Rick while he's laying down. Doctor's orders. Yes. No annoying. Tom. What? Want more How are you doing here? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I ever talked to him here. <laughs> This hurt? Huh? What? You're what? what? You're singing? No. You've got a very nice singing voice, Doc. Excuse me. Sorry, Monroe. I, I have to finish this. What? You had to finish your rivalry with Beesman? Jeez! Wow. All right, gosh. All right. Fine. Terrible bad bedside manner from you, Doctor. This one needs more training. Hey, can I help you? <laughs> like I imagine, all of the recording sessions for the voiceovers for this game, all of the notes in the script were: if it's addressing Monroe, be as passive aggressive as possible. <laughs> Or just the player directly. could be do anything and f just imagine the player is doing something very annoying constantly, and that's your that's your motivation. I went in a circle. <laughs> They're jumping on your head. That's your motivation. <laughs> right, the turbo lift. Okay, um, I believe that is actually good for the first outing. Um, okay. An hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, that, that's fine. But uh, this is a good game, and we will be coming back to this to continue. Uh, let's see. Yeah. But, I don't uh, think there's an E in Monroe. Is there? Um, I don't really have a way to... I guess I have a way to check. Welcome to Voyager, Elkar's menu system. There is not. It's just... M-U-N-R-O. Eh.
It's oh, fine. Well. We'll, we'll assume one of the crewmen per typed that in. Yeah, and they just don't <laughs> care enough to <laughs> just get it right. God, Monroe.